Okay, let's look at the relationship between the price of a treasury bill and the interest rate or the rate of return. Now, a treasury bill, called the TB, is issued by government to finance its expenditure. Now, it has a face value. Let's assume the face value is 100,000 rands. Now, what that means is if you buy that said treasury bill today for 100,000, at the end of the term, the government will buy it back from you for 100,000. It doesn't promise you a rate of return. It promised to pay you that 100,000. So the question is, will you buy this treasury bill for 101,000? The answer is definitely no, because you will pay 101 and they will only give you back 100,000. Will you pay 100,000? Most likely not, because you will make no rate of return on this investment of yours. So it most probably will be sold on the market through demand and supply. It, a price will be established. Let's assume that price to be 98,000. So you pay 98,000, you keep it for a year, and then you sell it back to the government for 100,000. So you make, in nominal terms, 2,000 rands. Now your rate of return is then calculated by saying it's the face value minus the price you paid divided by the price you paid for it, in this case 98,000. And that is equal to 2,000 divided by 98,000 gives you 2.4%. So that is your rate of return if you buy this for 98,000. Let's say you pay 95,000 for this treasury bill. 95,000, your rate of return is then 100,000 minus 95,000 divided by 95,000 equals, then you will see, will be equal to 5.3%. So you can see that as the price of the treasury bill in decreases, your rate of return will increase. Therefore, there's a negative relationship between the price of treasurable and the interest rate, the rate of return.